Hi, this is Mika. Thanks for um, signing up for my course. I want to, I had to redo this video because it will be 2021. And this is for the overage. Uh, this is something that is some top secret information because what I want you to get from this video is that the key to conquering overages is to be the first person that calls, which increases your rate of actually collecting an overage to help another person claim it. So for example, as you can see, this is the 2021 calendar. So this is all the auctions that are going to happen. Um, that happened in December and that's going to happen for January and February. So as the year goes on, you want to go to this website. This is bid for assets. Um, if you're particularly in California and um, Washington, there's a few other states as well. Most of their auctions are online, but this video is to show you how to acquire an overage list before anyone else gets it. So, um, I'm going to go to this one because this one recently happened on December 17th. So I'm going to click this right here and you're going to see that it's already closed. So what you're going to do is, um, and this is also too, if you want to invest in tax seeds, but we're going to go down here to the auction folder and we're going to click on this APN and it's basically saying that this closed at 1 PM on December 17th and voila. So this is very important because this is what you need in order to find out what the overage is. And then I'm going to show you in the following videos how to actually locate all the information you need to contact the individual as well as get all the information. But this is a video to show you like how much overage you can collect for a claimant before the list is provided to everyone. So it's almost like you, you're getting first dibs on what to collect for someone and you could be the first person calling before everyone else calls. So I'm going to click right here on this one because as you can see, it was sold. When it says closed, that means it's withdrawn. So we're going to go to sold right here and I'm going to click on it. And as you can see, this asset sold for $8,400. What you need to know is the minimum bid. So it appears as though when it's the minimum bid, what that means is, is that that's how much they were behind and that's what was owed to the county. And what it sold for was 8,400. Okay, I'm not that great at math, but let's just say give or take there's $7,000 in overage, right? So what you would need to do is write this information down, put it in a spread, Sheet, and then I'm going to go step by step and show you how to find all the information that you need in order to process and file the claim. So, as you can see, you need to take this APN number, and I'm going to show you uh, what you need to do in order to file a claim. But this video, once again, was to help you create an overage list before anybody else gets one. And so I would encourage you to go to bid for assets and um, let me just go backwards and look up when there were auction dates, as you can see, and you could click on it and you can locate what has sold and what was the minimum bid. Once again, I'm clicking on it, it's already sold. You wanna go down to the bottom. Now, some of these won't have it. You wanna go into the auction folder and then it shows you all the items that were sold on this auction. And that's how you can create your own um, overage list before anyone else gets it. Here goes another one, uh, sold for 9,200. We're gonna click on that. The minimum bid on this was 2,000. So that's a $7,000 overage claim. So this is, the process of creating your own list. I hope this helps.